Although, Equality California already had their ads on where it's, it's an ad where they have where this, uh, where this couple is getting married and everything is, is trying, everything and everyone is trying to keep them from getting married. And I think that seems to be the perfect ad to other people that what why people like me who are gay want gay marriage, you know, because we want to be married to the person that we love, you know. And let alone I want to have the right to be miserable stuck to have to lose half of what I own and half of what I earn to someone who I thought I was crazy, you know. They turn out to be a crazy little jerk or whatever in the end after a while, you know. But just like how some straight people would marry the wrong people, you know. So why can't I have the right to marry the person that I want to, that I want, whether if it's right or not. I mean, whether if it's the right person or not, you know. But, uh,. Um, I don't know if they started airing the whole as for Proposition 8, but it's probably going to be the typical, like, God created Adam and Steve. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Marriage alert, marriage alert. We don't want our kids to grow up to be gay. We want our country to keep going on with the hardcore Christian family values. so to speak, you know, but I don't know if anybody had heard about the whole uh, John McCain and uh, Barack Obama had been going to the shell, that shell back uh, mega church yesterday when they were doing the whole religious thing over there, but I don't know how long the shell back, maybe, shell back church has been around, but one of my friends at the at the at the club kind of calls it and calls those people that go to the church as super Christians, you know, and I call them the funny daddies or or whatever, you know, or the mega cult churches, you know. But I think that's just sort of the case, you know. But then there's just some people who probably want to start a church, you know start their own religion just to avoid paying taxes because it's easier that way. You know, I'm so tired of paying the taxes. Why do I create my own religion? I'll call it. Hmm. <laughs> or whatever it is. You know, but funny in my head, you know, but, um, I forgot what I was going to tell you guys about. Besides, uh, that, I think it was just, a lot of people over here in Orange County tend to be a little conservative, you know, so we probably still have the same bunch of people that are still kind of, uh, to carry the Bible wherever they go and blah blah blah, but at the same time there are also people that are they're not that conservative at all around here. But anyways, um besides that hmm. I was also kind of recording maybe somebody else's little comment that, you know, but then even if Proposition 8 passes, you know, we could always have, like, some sort of amendment to reverse that or or get a challenge and it gets stripped away like that, you know. But a lot of people say it's just that, that um, the genie's out of the bottle, you know, and that, and that once, I mean, once, uh, once, uh, 
when something else happens like that, it's never going to stop, you know, no matter how much it's going to, going to, going to happen, you know, is that there's no way that they're going to try to reverse all of that, it's because it's already, you know, tide is kind of slowly shifting the other way against people who want to keep gays in the closet and all that sort of stuff, because it's not really like the whole issue of like gay marriage and all of that. It's really the, the underlying issue is just sort of that they just want to keep gays in the closet where they don't belong, where they where they rightfully belong, so to speak. You know, just like the same other people, but that they don't really realize to read about the whole story about. Uh, on liberty, where it explains that our country is not really a democracy, it's a federal republic, in that the rights of a minority have to be protected by the tyranny of a majority. And that people who are those crazy Christian people should really also be more about the Pharisees, people who are kind of very hypocritical and have this sense of entitlement to God's love and and they, just, they go around and pound their chest and just say, Look at me, Lord, I'm praying. Look at me, Lord, I'm donating, donating, donating to the church. Look at me, Lord, I have to search our love. But you don't really need to do that. Because for anybody that's Christian, you know, you know, I'm no longer a Christian anymore, you know, but uh, that you don't really need to be that vocal, just receive God's love or Jesus' love anyways. And so it doesn't really matter whether if you be that vocal about praying or vocal about all of that, you know, and you can be silent, and that's basically how it should be. I think my 10 minutes are up.